Well, hello guys, here Mr. G with another video. This time we're going to be answering question one from the multiple choice or is the multiple choice question from the 2016 June examination done at the Northern Cape and Free State province. This is for paper two and it's in preparation for the chemistry question paper. The first question, question 1.1 say, all members of a homologous series have the same and they give you different options, physical pro properties, empirical formula, general formula, or molecular formula. Now, homologous series, they cannot have the same physical properties, all of the members, because the physical properties depend on different factors that will be affected even though they will be from the same homology series. So the one that all of them will have the same is going to be the uh, general formula. All elements or all members from one homology series will follow under the same general formula formula. That one is, in other words, just the definition of homologous series. Which one of the following does not increase as the relative molecular masses of alkane increases? Now, important, if the molecular masses of alkane increases, so does the intermolecular force become stronger. All right? If the, if the molecular force increases, so does the intermolecular force become stronger. Therefore, the boiling point is going to increase. The vapor pressure is going to decrease. Remember, if boiling point is high, then vapor pressure is low. So vapor pressure decrease. Melting point is going to increase and strength of the intermolecular force, which is actually said there. So which one is does not increase is the vapor pressure pressure that is the correct answer in 1.2 1.3 which one of the following ions can act as an ampholite there is a video on ampholite which i am going to leave the link right here and remember the ampholite can be an acid or a base so um, in this case the answer is a it is exactly the same one as one of the videos which i'm going to leave the link but this one for instance as an acid that one as an acid, it will donate a proton, so it will be HSO4. Let's fix this one, HSO4 minus as an acid will be now um, H positive, which is gone, plus SO4 to minus. This one is as an acid, as you can see there, from reactants to product one hydrogen is gone so that is an as or acting as an acid and then as a base as a base then you have the h s of four minus and you add in a hydrogen or it can a hydrogen becomes h2 s of four um, with no charge you can see here from reactants to product one proton was gained. This one here is the ANFO line. Very good question. Question 1.4. Which one of the following statement regarding the weak acid is false? Now, which one is non-true? And a weak acid is a proton donor. Yes, a weak acid is a proton donor. All acids are proton donors. It doesn't matter if it's a weak or strong. Has a pH value of between eight and nine wrong this one is wrong why because acid it doesn't matter if a strong or weak has a ph between zero and seven there we go so that one is a correct answer for this specific question, which one of the following regarding weak acid is false? That is false. And the goes in neutralization reaction? No, it does go. It does go a neutralization reaction. React with sodium carbonate to release carbon dioxide? Yes, that's also correct. So all these ones are actually true, except for the second one, which in actual fact then is the answer here. Question 1.5. Question 1.5 say the Boltzmann distribution curve P and Q for oxygen has undergo different conditions are show um, are show below area under curve q is twice as that under curve p very interesting question this one which one of the following is correct for both 
curve P and Q. A, one mole of oxygen at 25 degrees, two moles of oxygen at 100 degrees. Now let, let's look at the curve because this one is a very, very tricky question. All right, first of all, first of all, what do we need to look here before we start here or analyze? Inside this graph or under the graph, what you find is number of particles. In this case, they say number of molecules. Okay. Now they say that the area of Q, the area AQ is equal to 2 area of P. All right. Now what is under the graph of these types of graphs? Molecules. Therefore, if area of Q is twice the area of P, it means that the number of mole of Q must be two times the number of mole of P. That is the first important thing because the area is big and inside that area, what represents the area here at the bottom is the number of particles or number of molecules, okay? That is what is represented here for each of them. That is represented under the area. And they are telling you that the area of Q is twice the area of P. Otherwise, you couldn't see it, ne? even though you look or it looks big. That's it. But now, that is a very important thing. Now, if you go to the X axis, it's kinetic energy. Now, kinetic energy is going to be affected by the temperature. It means that Q temperature, temperature Q is going to be higher than temperature P. That's all we know here. We don't have values of temperatures, but because of the kinetic energy, not the following, in X you have kinetic energy, no temperature is kinetic energy. But if you remember, the higher the kinetic energy, the higher the temperature. So temperature for, for Q, which is here, this is TQ, is going to be greater than the temperature for uh, P. Okay? Or the particles at uh, at this point have a greater kinetic energy so let's go here now a one mole for q for p two mole for q okay that side is right because it is double right now we're going to temperature temperature of oxygen is um, 50 temperature for q is 100 and you can see that there is like that temperature for oxygen um, in p is 50 and it's double in Q. So guys, A is the correct answer for this specific question. It's a very good question. I do like it. If you go to the next one, you can see that for instance, the number of molecules for the second one here is correct because P have half that number of mole of Q. However, the temperature is the same. If the temperature was the same, it means that the graph must end at the same place. If you go to C, now, uh, they swap the moles and that is not possible answer. So the only possible answers are A and B, but the correct one is A. I hope you understand it's a very good question here. Question 1.6. A graph or graph A below show the volume of gas produced as a function of time for the reaction of 2 grams zinc granules in excess acid at 25 degree Celsius. Graph B was obtained for the same reaction at different reaction condition. Which one of the following is best described of the reaction condition used to obtain graph B? Now, before we look at the, at the possible options, we have to look what happened to B. B have less product, less product form, okay? A B have a greater gradient, higher gradient. Therefore, if I say half a, a, a half a higher gradient, it means faster. So what we have, the reaction B has a higher gradient, which is faster, but have less product. Okay. So let's look at the possible option. First, option one, they add five grams of zinc powder at 25 degree Celsius. Now, let's look at uh, this, the following structures here. A, A was done with five grams. So A was done uh, with the amount of zinc of five grams. I'm going to write five grams, but five grams is not for A. 
okay five gram was the reactant that was used okay now five grams cannot be why cannot be because b is less so it did produce less therefore it was useless so the five gram cannot be an option okay second five gram and 40 degree cannot be an option okay 40 can be an option because it's higher temperature but not the five grams so the only two options here are either a c or d what happened b happened faster because have a higher gradient so which one is the correct answer here d is the correct answer also very good question however it's not difficult it's quite simple but is a good question question 1.7 which one of the following sketch graph best represent the relationship between the amount of gases at constant temperature for the reaction represented by the following balance equation and you have the different uh, graphs there now in this reaction we can see that the gases are o2 and um, co2 and they have exactly the same number of molecules here in reactants and products so if you increase one what is going to happen is that you are going to increase the other one the ratio here is one is to one so if you increase one you decrease the other one or, or vice versa if you decrease the other one decrease so the correct answer is d you can see the relationship there is um, directly proportional okay this one is quite simple question question 1.8 which one of the following is the same for equal volumes of 0.1 mole per cubic decimeter solutions of sodium hydroxide and ammonia okay so now option a the ph of the solution is not the same because those two different bases are different okay know that hydrochloric or sodium hydroxide is a base as so does and so does uh, ammonia is a base okay but sodium hydroxide is a strong base and ammonia is a weak base okay those are important details that we need so the ph is not the same so it cannot be the ph the mass of the solute they are not the same because um it just go if you go to the formula of concentration which is the same in both cases be careful it's confusing and you substitute the formula mass divided by molar mass multiplied by volume you have concentration is the same the um, volume is the same but the molar mass is not the same because we are not talking about the same substance so the mass of the solute present is not the same the conductivity guys the amount of ions involved in the dissociation of these two uh, basis is not the same therefore the conductivity is not the same so we have only one left which is um, d the number of mole of hydrochloric acid need for neutralization now uh, very simple here the reaction if you write the balance reaction for a uh, sodium hydroxide and hydrochloric acid and ammonia and hydrochloric acid you will get that the ratio is one is to one so the number of mole needed from a uh, hydrochloric acid to neutralize either of them is going to be the same the concentration and the volume is the same so using that one if you calculate the number of moles number of moles of both of them is going to be concentration multiplied by volume which is in this case the same because they have the same concentration and the same volume and if you go to the neutralization of a hydrochloric acid you will see you will need the same amount of mole of hydrochloric acid it's not that big question 1.9 pure hydrogen iodide decomposed in a sealed container according to the following balance equation guys and then you have the balance equation for the composition of hydrogen iodide so the reaction say the reaction reaches equilibrium after six minutes a sudden change in condition at t10 minutes caused the rate of both forward and reverse reaction to increase as shown in the graph below the change in the rate of um, at 10 minutes could have been caused by an increase in temperature pressure concentration and concentration guys be careful here be careful here it's a very good question but uh, this change you can notice that both reactants increase simultaneously equal so neither of the two either a forward or reverse reaction were um, affected so what this this could happen with a catalyst but the catalyst is not one of the options temperature will affect either one as well as concentration the other one is pressure 
Remember, when working with pressure, you need to look for the number of molecules. You have two molecules on the left hand side and you have two molecules on the right hand side. In other words, pressure cannot affect this reaction because the number of molecules is the same, guys. Without looking too much, the answer is pressure. And the final question of this multiple choice. Methane gas reacts slowly with air at room temperature according to the following balance equation. And there is the reaction of, uh, of the burning of methane. If a piece of warm platinum is held in a methyl, um, methane air mixture, the methane in, ignites immediately. Consider the following statement regarding the reaction in the presence of platinum. The net activation energy is lower. The value of delta H is greater, the energy of the reactant is higher, the reaction rate is higher, which of the above statement is correct. And they give you four options. Guys, we are going to, or I'm going to leave this question for you to answer. If you're watching the video, if you know the answer, write it in the comment and then we'll answer the question in the comments below. But thank you for watching. I hope you understand. I hope it helped. Is um Question one from June 2016. Follow for more. Thumb up if you think it helped. I'll see you next time. Mr. G here.